the Florida House of Representatives is set to discuss and possibly vote on that wild bill, the so-called Don't Say Gay bill. And now a new amendment to the bill is creating even more controversy. Yeah. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from Miami to explain. Brooke, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. This proposed bill has strong opinions on both sides. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis supports the bill. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden has called it hateful. Bills like the Don't Say Gay bill make this problem worse. Florida Rep Carlos G. Smith, a strong opponent to a proposed state bill getting national attention. The Parental Rights in Education bill, also known by opponents as the Don't Say Gay bill. Since bills like this try to erase us, they try to push us back in the closet. But the censorship part of this is really disturbing. The proposal being considered says classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through third grade or in a manner that is not age appropriate. A recent amendment to the proposed bill would also require Florida teachers disclose the sexual orientation of students to their parents within six weeks. In a statement, Senate sponsor Dennis Baxley said in part, this bill will help us focus on the priority that our students belong to families. He wrote, parents should decide what is age appropriate content for their children. The proposal has sparked protests across Florida. Opponents fear if passed, it would limit the discussion of many LGBTQ issues between students and teachers. It's just mind boggling that we're in 2022 and we're still fighting for these rights uh, for us to be heard. If Florida lawmakers decide to pass this bill, it would go into effect on July 1st. I'm live in Miami, Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4, this morning.